decided I was going to pull the trigger and get some custom in-ear monitors. That's what we're going to review today. All Clear's Tour Triple Driver Custom In-Ear Monitors. A lot of things you have to look at when you're going to get your first set of in-ear monitors. You got to look at pricing. Got to stay within what you can afford. That's probably one of the biggest things. How many drivers? As a bass player, I went with a triple driver because of two woofers. Woof, 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 woofers. Because of, of the dual woofer. Because of the lower end response. To hear the kick and to hear the bass better, you know, and, and plus with a better isolation, sometimes you move and, the, and your in ear pulls out a little bit. You, the first frequency to go is the low end. So for me, it was a triple driver. Now they've got four drivers, six drivers, 10 drivers. How do you stick 10 drivers in your ears? <clears throat> I, they do it. I don't know. Plus, that's way outside of my price range. Kind of had to narrow down to all clear or ultimate ears. You know, there's some issues I'm going to talk about here in a second. I actually emailed both of them because I've got a weird ear. I've got a partial cauliflower ear. You know, I don't want to put six, seven, eight hundred dollars towards something that I'm not even going to be able to use. So I did. I, I emailed both of them. I actually sent pictures of my ear. Oh. And my wife take the picture. I sent them in and said, hey, I'm looking to get in some custom in-ear monitors. And, but this is going on. You know, Ultimate Ears, they got back and they said, they might stick out a little bit, but let's see what we can do. And in all clear, all clear. In all clear, they kind of emailed back and said, well, send your mold in. We'll see what we can do. Quite honestly, and there's a couple hundred dollar difference between the two. Ultimate Ears being more expensive than the All Clairs. What really made the final decision was around Christmas, All Clair ran a, a sale giving an offer you can't refuse. You know, there might be mafia in my family. I am part of telling, you know. So, might have been one of my family members. That, that kind of sealed the deal. Looking at $700. $400. When you're when you're looking for your ear monitors, you really want to be able to get as much information as you can because this is a big investment that you're going to do without being able to try out. You're going to get custom molds that you're going to stick way in your ears. Spending that kind of money, it's a big decision. So you want to be able to get as much information as you can. So the websites, they have all the information. I've got it pulled up right now. How many drivers, crossover, sensitivity, noise reduction, impedance. Pulled the trigger, got the all clairs. They shipped them. It's a nice box. I don't, listen, I'm not doing an unboxing. I don't know why people do unboxings. I think it must be some kind of psychological thing. Unboxings bore the daylights out of me. They sent, sent them in a box. And then this leather box, it, it, you know, it's kind of cool. They came with um, a tool for cleaning and a um, adapter. So you want to make sure you go to a good audiologist because this here is going in your ear. And if you have never had anything stuck in your ear like this, it's different. It takes a little to get used to, but I tell you what, it's made a huge difference in how I can hear when I'm playing. You know, most churches have gone to in-ears. They want to see the clean look on the stage, no monitors. And when I first heard that kick and I could feel it, I actually videoed when I got these playing some music for my iPod. Gosh, iPod. What is in my coffee? Plugged these into my phone and listened to some songs and I was blown away. Now, are all clear better than Ultimate Ears, 64 Audio, JH Audio? I have no idea. My dog's back there snoring again. Oh, no. I can't say these are better than Ultimate Ear, 64 Audio, JH, whatever, all the other ones. I just know compared to what I'm used to, these sound awesome. The the full sound of it, I can feel the kick and, and the bass is fuller and they don't wiggle around. These are not noise isolating, it's noise reducing. And these reduce the outside noise 25 dB. Well, when I was at one of the rehearsals and I had these in and I pulled them out during the rehearsal for some reason, I'm thinking, man, they sure do have the volume loud. People talk to me and it's just 
I just see their mouth move. Here's an issue I kind of ran into. My ear. It's talking about cauliflower. I've got partial cauliflower ear in my right ear. I noticed they were sticking out kind of far. The left one was sticking out kind of a little bit more than I was expecting it to also. There's something to keep in mind when you decide how many drivers you want to get. Because these are triple drivers. I'm not sure if I could... If I'm able to do quad drivers, I definitely know I couldn't do five, six, or 10. These things would be sticking out. So you see in the pictures, you know how far they are sticking out. And I emailed All Clear and I asked them, I said, hey, I know these were gonna stick out, but you know, is this a little bit more normal? They said, hey, send them in, we'll see if we can rework them. So I sent them in and they called and they said, the only way that they could rework them is one thing on here, is this piece right here, it's partially recessed. That helps the stability of it. Some in ears that the this connector, it's a two pin, is not recessed and it could get pulled out and broken real easy. They said we could do the different pin to where it's not recessed and maybe be able to bring the shell down a little bit. I said, no, a couple reasons. One was I want something that's gonna be stable. I don't want to give up quality of it just because of the aesthetic, because they sounded great, it's just the aesthetic of it. And the other reason was they said it was gonna take about three weeks, and once I put them on and tried them, I was dying to wear them, so that's a little self selfish, I guess. It's a nice case, smells kind of cool, but it's a little big and bulky. So what I did is I took this Pelican case, which is what they used to ship them in. I used this case when I go out to play. As you can see, the size of it compared to, it's, it's, it's just a lot smaller. So even though this is a really cool case and I don't know if it's saving them money, but it's just too big. They sound great. The information on the website, the pricing, customer service replied pretty quick. The pricing couldn't be beat. The fit was good. It takes a little bit to get used to, to in-ears. The aesthetics, as you can see, they stick out a little bit. So if you're looking to get your first set of in-ears and you really don't want to spend a ton, I would recommend the All Clairs. I know some people that use 64s and the people that use Ultimate Ears and they say they're awesome also. You just really, I guess, kind of go where your pocketbook goes. And as volunteers, you know, to justify, especially to your wife, for something that you wear on Sundays and you're not getting paid. So that's another one. If you got a thousand bucks just to toss around, hey, go for it. But for most volunteers, I think these are a good investment. So if you're looking for your first set of in-ears, I would say, sure, go, go with the All Clair. If you've got the money and you can upgrade to the other ones, go for it. They're just cool. In-ears are cool looking. If you've got any comments, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, and remember, serve well, have fun. See you next time.